Shalom, shalom, believers. The lights come to you week in and week out. The prophesied of the downfall of Babylon, aka America, first and foremost. All mm -hmm. honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, I will call Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere shalom to all the Akim laboring in tr truth, sincerity, and sound doctrine. Low willingness is edifying. But this lesson is entitled, uh, the prophets of old saw a horrible vision. And what I mean by that, you know, we know that the scriptures tell us that the scriptures tell us that the spirit of the prophets, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32 reads, uh, and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Um, let me get the whole chapter. There's something that's on my mind that's so um, I don't see it. Maybe it's verse 31. Uh, well, nah, nah, that's it. It says, uh, and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, meaning through reincarnation or regeneration. If you were a prophet in a, uh, in a past life, you will be a prophet throughout or be in that line of being a prophet. It ain't just like this incarnation here. You could have been a, a goddamn pedophile in the past, and now you're a prophet. If you was a prophet, you will always be. Now, there's certain sins and things we've done wrong in our past that we are judged for, you know. But even still, we were, uh, uh, Lord willing... Of that number of the elect that were uh, prophets, okay, prophesying in times past that have been shown visions of the future, all right, even visions of destruction, okay, especially visions of destruction, because right now, a lot of uh, the destruction that was prophesied of is has been done, and we're reaching the pinnacle of all destruction, which will be the destruction of America, even the prophets of old saw that vision, all right, and it's a horrible, just imagine you serving the Lord, you just, you know, you have no remembrance of the past when you were in that time, so let's see, say you're shown a vision of a destruction to come, or a, a, a world, uh, a few, or a hundred, few hundred years be, uh, after you, your incarnation there, right? And you get shown something very horrible. Okay? It's going to shock you because it's like, yo, I ain't never seen nothing like this. So now in this time, those visions of the destruction, the war, Jacob's trouble, uh, even other prophets seeing themselves in visions and dreams that the Lord gives them, uh, you know, they see a horrible destruction. Uh, and let me get this scripture that came to mind. Uh, Job chapter 33 and verse 15. In a dream and a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon bed, then he opened the ears of men and sealeth their instruction that he may withdraw a man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So, you know, the Lord sealeth our instructions of what we're going to do the night before. So if he, you know, sealed your instructions to be a prophet, then you'll be a prophet now. But even being shown those dreams and visions, you know, that dream and vision may include, you know, uh, 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 some type of judgment or destruction, you know. You know, I wanted to uh, just pretty much show you how in dreams and visions, the Lord gives you uh, uh, certain instructions and visions and also may give you uh, dreams, you know. It may be a dream that, that you actually will, like you see yourself in these visions and stuff the Lord give you. I'm not one to get a lot of visions. But you may be seeing something that you're going to go through in uh, the future, all right? And that's uh, uh, very prophetic, you know, when dealing with, uh, you know, the line of, of, of prophets of old, okay? The different visions they've been shown and to be in this day and time to have understanding of what was being shown then. Okay, so let me get a... Uh, let me get 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11, and it says, 
knowing therefore the terror, all right, the terror of the Lord, okay, we persuade men to what? Repent. So you won't be part of those visions that the uh, prophets have been shown of judgment and destruction. You want to be of a good vision that, of course, we're going to go through hell, but going through a process of being made a uh, 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 pure to be made, made white, you know, to get uh, that turned from a filthy rag to a prince of the power. All right. A true prince of the power and reaping or, or receiving that second covenant, you know, the first go round. It says, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also uh, made manifest in your consciences. Okay, so just knowing the terror of the Lord, right? I think it's another scripture. You know, just knowing how terrible the Lord can be, you know. Uh, we're not dealing with a power that, that, that you know, is, is one emotion, like a lot of you churches would paint them out to be. All right. So, uh, yeah, man, just knowing the terror of the Lord will give you, should give you fear. But there's always a lot of people, they don't fear the Lord as well. Um, uh, that's it. Let me get Ezekiel, uh, slide here. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 10 reads, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations, mourning, and woe. This is speaking of the scriptures, all right? NLT, it says, which he rolled, which he unrolled, and I saw that both sides were covered with funeral songs. Woo! Words of sorrow and pronouncements of doom, man. Hey, the Lord is cold, man. That, that's, I, I like that in the NLT. You know, which it, uh, it says, which he rolled, he unrolled. And I saw that both sides were covered with funeral songs, uh, words of sorrow, and pronouncements of doom. Okay, lamentations, the crying out, the mourning, you know, and woe, destruction, man. So, this is a very prophetic book. And it's not all love. And some of that lamentation morning is woe come in this form of visions or, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 seeing things in a past life before it happened to be living in the time that we are in now to see those things uh, uh, take place. All right. Or could possibly be one of those prophets that saw themselves in a vision. You know, uh, it was uh, 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 Ezra's. Who cried out, woe is me, woe is me, you know? Being shown prophecies and different future judgments of the Lord, man. You know, and to go and see all that, you know, coming from the time period they were in, you know, uh, it had to have been a very, very, uh, you know, uh, shocking or breathtaking uh, vision to be shown. The future, you, you, you see a, vi you get a vision of the future in that life and see how things are. Just see Jake walking down the street, you know, uh, aimlessly like, like goddamn uh, 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 Pez dispensers, <laughs> NPC characters, you know, to be in that time period they were in where men were even more manly, right, manly, and you're seeing a vision of the future when they become uh, others, <laughs> or they take that, uh, you know, that 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 they take that plunge into the other world, man, trying to be become of the other uh, species or sex, man. You know what I'm speaking of. We got to speak parabolic because this devil, you know, we bringing this strip, these scriptures out, the prophecies out, and this devil get mad and get the banning and uh, striking your channel and removing videos because now where he's being shown the visions that he, a, a lot of these elite Edomites, they understand the visions and the prophecies, man. They know what's coming. All right? So uh, let me get Ezekiel, same... Uh, uh, book but chapter 8 right Ezekiel 8 and I'm start at 20 mm, Salakia no nah, I jumped the gun my bad Ezekiel 8 and 5 right I'm start at Ezekiel 8 and 5 and it reads then said he unto me son of man lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north 
So I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward, at the gate of the altar, the image of jealousy in his entry. Uh, let me jump a little bit. He said, he said, further, my son unto me. It says, furthermore, my uh, unto me. It said, Salaka. He said, furthermore, unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here. You know, the Lord is showing Ezekiel a vision of his people doing great abominations in the time in, in the future time period, going from unrighteous and, and uh. uh you no, know, going from an understanding of who we are, you know, understanding and fear the law somewhat because we constantly went off. But having that understanding and seeing the lawlessness that goes on in, in today's society, you know, Ezekiel might have seen uh, a, a goddamn a woman with pink hair, a, a lime green hair, uh, dudes with uh, uh, female organs, man, or uh, females with male organs, you know. I'm seeing the uh, 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 Keisha and uh, Epinata and uh, 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 what's a, a damn Benjamin? You know, one of the twelve tribes, uh, 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 women over a man. You know, you might have seen women UFC. You might have seen the last, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 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 transformer or Decepticon uh, 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 knock out a woman, man. He may have seen a vision of sports and. And how the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the most sports is being effeminized, man. He might have seen uh, women hosting ESPN or uh, women at auto parts stores telling you you need a carburetor and can't even lift shit. You know? Uh, con. Even that great abominations, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth, here that here that I should go afar far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations, greater wickedness, man. And we're at the height, you know, the pinnacle of wickedness now, man. Uh, uh, we got uh, uh, these people uh, uh, claiming to have an attraction or affection for, you know, uh, the younger, man. That's crazy, man. Greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged into the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all, all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about him. He may have seen Cesar Borgia, uh, 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 fucking uh, 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 Santa Maria or uh, voodoo dolls, Ouija. Man, he's probably seen all kinds of these creeping things and abominables, man. Okay? Uh, 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 the state that Jake in, walking around, you know, uh, tats everywhere. You know, so yeah, man. Uh, uh, the prophets of old have been shown uh, uh, had to been some horrible sights because, you know, just to, to be given that glimpse into the future like that, man. You know, seeing the time period you were in, the different clothes and how cities were built, you know, and different things, man. To see now, man. All right. It reminds me of the show I used to watch, uh, Quantum Leap, man. He would go and jump through different time periods. All right. So, um, yeah, let me get, uh, Daniel, uh, chapter eight, and I'm going to go down to verse 23, and it reads, And in the latter time, which we are in, of their kingdom, when the transgressions are come to a full a king of a fierce countenance and under uh, and understanding dark sentences shall stand up and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. All and through his policy also shall cause craft to prosper. This devil man showing you 
the different things and practices and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, time periods where, you know, the, the, the segregation, uh, integration, civil rights movement, uh, Jim Crow, you know, seeing these different things and the, uh, uh, how he, you know, practiced his uh, destruction or his hatred or living up to his promise that he made when he was uh, 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 Esau. This, to this day, I will slay my brother Jacob even before then as Cain and Abel, all right? And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper. Uh, in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told, is true. Wherefore, shut up the vision, for it shall be for many days. And Daniel fainted. All right, he got shown all that, the destruction. Different time periods. Jake on top, back on the bottom. Jake on the bottom, falling further and further away from who he is. All right? He fainted from it. And with six certain days, afterward rose up, rose I up, and did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. You know, it was in time uh, for him to have the understanding of what he was seeing. Okay, let me read this in the NLT real quick. It says, Then I, Daniel, was overcome and lay sick for several days. Afterward, I got up and performed my duties for the king, but I was greatly troubled by the vision and could not understand it. So, yeah, man, we're in that time of understanding the visions, what was written, the parabolic talk, the dark sayings, the secrets of the Most High, having the names Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, and walking away from Christ. God and Jesus and, and, and any of them other false gods. I don't even really want to mention names of any. But I'm going to close this out in the book of uh, Job chapter 18 and verse 14 reads. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall be brought. It shall bring him to the king of terrors. They are from. They are torn from the security of their homes and are brought down to the king of terror. So you're going to be face the king of all. To, you think of Freddie, right? Come to you in your dreams. Well, the Lord, the king of terrors, more scary than Freddie or any of them, going to give you a dream, a vision. and going to show you your fate, man. Or showing you the possibility of your fate if you don't repent. And just showing the overall out, out, outcome of how not to lead a nation, okay? So that's, you know, pretty much the lesson. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Avakar Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. This is Shalawan, all the Akim, name and the truth. Sincerity and sound doctrine. Shalawan.